Welcome guys to this our 34th day taking care of our 600 bed. I am so excited to see you back. Today we'll be discussing something that is so beneficial because this is a problem most farmers out there are having and are looking forward to solve. So get closer and pay attention. Make sure you have your pen and paper with you because this is very crucial. So without further ado, let's get started. Today we'll be discussing about how to make your broilers grow faster. Remember, this is day 34, and we'll be talking about how to make your beds grow faster. Yes, how to make your broiler chicken grow faster. This is a challenge that many farmers out there are facing. One of the reasons we go into business is because we want to make profit. So coming to the poultry farm is because you want to make profit and also benefit from your product. So feeding your chicks is one thing and having the results for feeding your chick is another thing because you might feed your chick and you might end up not having the required goods you need to sell to make profit. And it is always very frustrating because imagine working for six weeks and you realize that you're not making that profit you, you actually devoted your time for it's so painful i've been in that shoes before i know what it means to to raise your chicken then at the end of everything you don't make profits okay i don't know where you're watching from but do want to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like if you know you love what we're doing and also don't forget to share this video for others to benefit from this way of making your broilers grow faster so you can make profits so guys without wasting much of your time let's get started one of the things you should consider when making your broiler chicken grow faster is choosing the right birds. Yes, choosing the right birds is one of the things you should consider when making your broiler chicken grow faster. Yes, choosing the right birds is one of the things you should consider because before you go into the business, you need to think of bringing in your chicks and this is one of the most important thing you need to put into consideration bringing in the right chick there are several kinds of chicks and you need to consider the kind of chicks you want to go into either for meat or for egg so if you know you want to make your broiler chicken go faster you need to know the right kind of chicks you choose to breed yes because there are different hatchery out there and you need to consider a trustworthy hatchery to buy from so you can have a good heal at the end of the day so choosing the right bed is one thing you should consider when starting a poultry business so you can have them grow faster so it's very important so guys another factor you should consider if you know you want to make your broiler chicken grow faster is don't let them starve yes starvation is one thing that can cause your broiler chicken not to grow faster like i said in my previous video your feed is something you shouldn't joke with what i'm saying so is before starting to raise your birds you need to consider your budget that is to say if you know you want to go for 100 birds you need to know the budget for 100 birds and focus on that 100 birds so if you want to go for 200 birds go for 200 birds know your budget and go for 200 birds not when you know your budget is for 100 birds and you're going for 200 birds when you know your budget is for 100 birds you will end up you might end up starving your chicks and thereby not giving them room to grow faster. So avoiding starvation is one factor you need to consider when starting your poultry business and also making your broiler chicken grow faster. You need to avoid what we call starvation. Starvation is something you need to avoid. Yes, because it's so frustrating when you have your birds in your farm and probably you feed them from day one up to let's say the fourth week knowing you have two weeks left and you realize that you don't have feed for your chicks this is so frustrating because you find out that the chicks will come out and start shouting running around you and frankly guys it's hypertensive imagine you watching your money going down the drain because you don't have money to feed them it's never a good experience to face so when you know you want to make your best grow faster you need not to let them start you need to consider starvation that is to say you need to know your budget before going into the business you live within your means by 
focusing on what you know your budget can carry not when you know your budget is not up to a particular number of beds you just forcefully bring in your cheeks with the hope that you're going to face it then at the end of everything you hear you suffer the beds and make them starve and thereby not making them go faster so it is very important to consider this factor many people out there have this mindset of you know having hope okay it is well god is going to provide there's nothing god cannot do god is a miracle worker he's going to make it happen no 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 no, no. poetry business is a garbage in garbage out business you need to be specific you need to be certain about what you're doing you don't just jump into it because you heard one or two people say there's money in the business and you just mm, let me go in there and make money no 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 you end up losing your money you need to be specific you need to be precise you need to have your budget you need to be prepared before going to the poultry farming business so guys the next thing you need to do to make your best grow faster is taking care of the coop yes one factor that can make your beds grow faster is taking care of the coop. In case you don't know what the coop is, it's where your, your beds are, taking care of where they reside. It is very important to consider this factor because this is where the beds rest. This is where they have their phone. This is where, this is where they reside. So you need to be very careful about how you take care of your coop. You must make sure you have good beddings for them. That is avoiding wet litter. That is what I've been saying in most of my videos. Wet litter can cause a whole lot of damage in your farm. So you need to make sure they are comfortable. You don't expect beds to strive in a wet litter environment. No, 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 it won't work that way. You need to make sure you take good care of your coop and make sure they are doing great. Because if you don't take care of this factor, you might end up having diseases, you might end up having debts, and so many other factors that might hinder you from making your profit. So, now to make your boilers grow faster, you need to make sure you take care of your cook. This very factor is very important. Now, we've mentioned three, which is choosing the right birds, which is number one, then don't let them starve, and the third one is taking care of your cook. So, you need to take care of your cook because if you don't do this, frankly, guys, you might end up losing your money. And it's always very frustrating when you put in so much money, knowing fully well that the poultry farming business requires so much money, especially when you're going into it in a large scale. So it involves so much money. So you wouldn't want to lose your money. And so it's very important for you to take care of the coop to avoid most of these challenges that you might face. The next factor you need to consider when you want to make your broiler chicken grow faster is using natural booster. Yes, using natural booster is another factor you can use to make your birds grow faster. In case you don't know what the natural booster means, it could be the introduction of garlic, ginger, chili pepper, and so many other natural things you can introduce to your birds to make them grow faster. Yes, garlic is something that can, can turn around the state of your, your, your poultry farm if you do the right thing. Yes, introduction of garlic, introduction of chili pepper, introduction of uh, ginger. It's another good thing that can make your birds, you know, grow faster. So introducing those natural boosters into your farming system can also make your brother chicken grow, you know, faster and make them, yes, make them produce more profit for you. Yes, because most of these things can fight diseases like garlic, ginger, they fight diseases and also most bacteria you have in your farm. Because once you have disease in the body of the chicks or the chicken, you find out that they don't have a rapid growth. Because once your birds are not in the right state of health it affects your growth by the way if you know you're watching and you haven't subscribed do want to hit that subscribe button the notification turn on so you get updated each time we have new updates on how to take care of your poultry farm and how to become a better farmer and also a successful farmer there are many people looking for this knowledge so it's very important to share for others out there to benefit from this tutorial okay hit that subscribe button all right it won't cost you anything now just hit it now yes
Thank you. Now, give it a like. Mm -hmm. So let's get back to business. Now, another thing you can consider when you want to make your burlap chicken go faster is separating the size. Separating your birds, especially when you know you're close to your time of sales, is very important. Yes. Why I'm saying this is you need to sort your birds. Sorting your birds is one factor you can consider if you know you want your boiler chicken to grow faster. You know, when you watch my hand, all fingers are not equal. The time a particular bird is eating is not when the other bird is eating. So you don't expect all of them to eat at the same time. And if they're not eating the same time, you don't expect the growth to be the same. Yes, you don't expect that growth to be the same because some might be a little bit bigger, some might have some height, some might have some fatter legs, and you know, same as human. You don't expect all humans to be the same. So when you don't have equal growth in the farm, you need to consider separating the size. Yes, what I mean there is by sorting them, you get the bigger ones one side, and those ones, you know, are not eating properly. You now push them a little bit, barricade it, then pay more attention to those other smaller ones so that they compete with this other one. Doing that, you might end up having the smaller ones grow faster and even the bigger ones because there will be more competition on both sides and you will end up having a good, fast-growing broiler chicken. So guys, the last thing I think you should do is uh, check the health. That's the next, the last factor I think you should consider when making your broiler chicken grow faster. The health of your bed matters a whole lot. Even as human, if you know you're not feeling fine, you're not strong, you find it very difficult to eat, yes. You find it very, very difficult to eat, you find it difficult to drink, you find it difficult to, you know, catch fun. Yes, you find it difficult to do all that. So, same as birds. So, once your birds are, are not in good health, you find out that they find it difficult to drink, eat, and move around. Their flexibility will be reduced, and um, they don't have time to, you know, fill among with other chicks. So it is very important for you to consider checking the health of your bird. And you can do that by observing their behaviors, you know, knowing their behaviors, knowing when to administer their medication, knowing when to pay close attention to them. Yes, knowing when to attend to them when necessary. So checking the health of your bird is one important factor you should consider when you know you want to make your broiler chicken grow faster. Everybody wants to make profit, so it is very vital to consider all these factors. Remember, we've talked about choosing the birds and also not letting them starve, taking care of the coop, using the natural booster, separating the size, that is sorting the chicks, and also checking for good health. I know you guys have learned something, and if you know you really learned something today, do well to hit that subscribe button. It won't cost you anything. Hit that subscribe button with notification turn on so you get notified each time I have important topics that will make you make good profit in your poultry farming business. And don't forget to share for others to benefit because, like I said, there are several people out there looking for this tutorial to enhance their performances in their poultry farming business. And mostly, don't forget to give this video a like so that YouTube can also recommend this video to others to benefit. I think I should call it a day for now. Remember, this is day 34, and we are taking care of our 600 best to make 500,000 naira in just six weeks. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Remember, this is Sam Z.